because I believe we can do something interesting there. Um, the other big bet was the fall model. Like, it wasn't clear to us that like people would take photos and share them with anyone in the world. Like, Facebook is very guarded about their photos in the sense that like you have albums and only your friends see that. Flickr is a little more open, but no one was just like anyone in the world can see my photos. I, I would say that's the second bet. Um, there were a lot of other bets, but looking around in the world today, I just think that people need to bet on startups maybe being a little more open. I think people are actually really interested in sharing their content with people that aren't just their friends. I think too many times we get caught under privacy controls and layers and depths of, of like walled gardens. And instead, I think we should be embracing the fact that really interesting things can happen when we open up. Um, that's really the main one that I've been thinking about a lot. Thanks. Yeah. So, so on Instagram, are, are all the photos totally public then? Oh, that's a great question. So um, are all the photos totally public? Yes, in the sense that a URL exists out there that you can get to, but no in the sense that it's hard to find, right? Um, the way we handled privacy was much like Twitter, where we said uh, you can either be public where anyone can follow you, or you can control who can follow you. But that doesn't mean that people can't see your timeline if they're like logging up or they can't go to your, like and see your timeline. It's not about, um, privacy is not about a private social network, something like PATH, right? Um, we really believe that, you know, the photos you put on Instagram should be shared with the world. Although, I think we're moving to a space where like we realize there's a space for private photos, um, but it's not part of the core experience today. Yeah? How much? Technology, would you say that a business co-founder needs to be able to operate? Sure, that's a great question. So the question was, how much uh, technology experience does a business co-founder need to be productive? Um, I think there's no one prescription to that. Um, for me, I, I like to call myself like a professional prototyper. I can get things to a certain level and then hand them off to people who are really, really smart and can you know, uh, refine stuff. I know Dennis <coughs> Crowley at Foursquare wrote a lot of their initial stuff. Um, but is not a programmer today. You look around the world and often that's the case as an entrepreneur. You need to bring stuff to a level where people are attracted to it and want to start using it. I think that if I were giving advice of someone who had the opportunity to go get education as a business co-founder or the opportunity to like read a bunch of books, it's you need to be able to be conversant and know what you're up against, but you don't necessarily need to know code. Um, engineers love talking with people that speak their language and I think that's like the one way to guarantee you can build a, a strong team. What is the plan in terms of monetizing the traffic and the users of the lab? That's good. Um, so the question is, what's the plan of monetizing Instagram? Um, so we've had a lot of ideas, like a lot of ideas. And initially, we were actually going to launch with like paid filters. We ended up cutting that feature because there was a bug with Apple Store, and they wouldn't like let us release our app unless anyway. So we never ended up putting it back because what we realized very quickly was that we were growing so fast that what we wanted to do was lock up the network, lock up the vertical, be the place to go to share public photos, and along the way we realized that we're moving in a direction and into a space that is really interesting from a monetization standpoint. And when I say really interesting, I mean imagine Instagram as a new entertainment platform in the palm of your hand. The biggest businesses in the past in advertising have been when people push images to you, whether that's TV, magazines, or print. All of those are slowly dying in some way or another, and money is moving online. The interesting thing is, can we become a new platform to spend money online to reach consumers in an interesting way on top of the entertainment platform? As for the specifics, obviously we can't show that right now, but we have a lot of interesting ideas. But I think the first priority is to be the place that people go. Otherwise, advertising dollars really don't matter. Yeah, I, it's unusual to do a follow up, but um, I think one of the things that you did, you kind of glossed a little bit. Yeah. Um, that you may not have realized was a big bet, is do you find something that's kind of mundane? Absolutely. You know, it's that, that meta idea that you took and put some filters on, maybe you take it for granted. Sure. But you created beauty because it strikes me that, that doing that in a simple, straightforward way. Large Absolutely. So I'm a cook. Like I love to cook a little too much. Um, and I talk about startups as dishes sometimes. You need to remove elements, not complicate them with more elements. Um, 
And you always need what I call a squeeze of lemon at the end. Um, it's the thing that makes the difference in the dish that if you didn't know about cooking, no one would tell you there's lemon in there or salt, right? But it's the fundamental ingredient that makes that dish sing. And I look at startups this way in that you can be mundane, you can do the status quo. There's a difference between simple and simplistic, right? Simplistic is like, oh, okay, that's a piece of beef, whatever. Simple is, that's a piece of beef that's dry aged, et cetera, et cetera, right? Um, I think what we did with Instagram was we said, photos are interesting, but what's that squeeze of lemon that's gonna get us over the top? What's that thing that sets us apart? What's that thing that's interesting? And I think that turned out to be filters. I think with Foursquare, one of the interesting things was badges, right, and these points. I think you look around at many startups and the successful ones you'll see all have these little elements that just push them over the edge of being simplistic to simple. Anything else? In the back? Uh, you guys have said something very similar to the Yeah. Can you use sunglasses. No. Um, say that again. Yeah. What do you guys plan to do with that online? Sure, sure. Um, so really the $7 million is there to hire the best engineering talent we can. I'm a firm believer that the best companies in the world have the best engineering teams. And I don't just mean like guys who have PhDs, girls that have master's degrees and PhDs in law, right? Like, not that. What I'm looking for is the people that want to create the next big social company in the world. The people that are up against the challenges we're facing that are unlike things that Twitter and Facebook faced in the past. But if I look around, you need to spend money on hiring talent and making sure that talent stays around. Because in today's you know, economy and in today's job market, everyone's competing for the smartest minds. So we look at really as an investment in both our community and our users, but also the engineers that allow us to scale those uh, other opportunities. Thanks for asking. All the way back, yeah. Hey, how are you? Good to see you again. Yeah, so uh, color is really, she asked me what I think of that color. Um, I, I got asked this this, this morning, um, and my honest answer is I haven't really used it. But what I like to do is just ask what other people think. And so far, I think the reactions have been really interesting. I think that um, colors, well, a lot of people talk about color as a photo sharing app. I don't actually think that's what they're going after. I think they're experimenting with like near field social networking. It's really interesting dynamics that I think a lot of people, you know, they approach and they get a little confused by. But I think some of the most interesting companies in the world come out of things like that. Um, so it'll be really interesting to see where they go. Thanks for asking. Anything else? Cool. Well, thanks for coming today.